All right, welcome to my bedroom system. This is Battle Buddy. This is the one with the four Battle Born Lithium batteries in it, good for 4.8 kilowatt hours. And I wanted to do a video, kind of an update of this system while it's running, while I've got sun out there and I can show you everything that's working. In the summertime, well, it runs 24 seven all the time, but in the summertime, of course, running this window unit, and it just it's working great there's a couple things I want to show you first is the Samlex inverter 2000 watt pure sine wave and also this iota power supply slash lithium battery charger this has been a gem right down here to keeping things topped off and I'll show you that in detail here in a second but let's get inside and I'll show you the uh, Samlex Right now I'm consuming 684 watts according to this front panel right here. Got a little dust on it. This is a pretty cool little display. VA, power factor, volts, amps, AC amps. Very cool. Frequency and watts. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, let's see how much solar power I'm getting in. Looks to be about 26 amps, not bad. 733 watts, which is more than what the air conditioner is consuming. I've got this MT50 mounted on the outside now, so I can have to open the box up to All right, here's the Samlex 2000. Had to do a lot of modifications to get this big boy to fit in here, but nothing to it. So I had to use these lower profile AC outlets. These are actually heavy duty ones. I got two of them, little short pieces. This one's actually a little bit longer. This one goes into the outlet here, but no problem. I think it's good for up to 15 amps. And of course, runs this outlet right here. It's for the air conditioner. Floor fans are working, probably need to clean them. This is hard mounted on the power tray right here. Over here, I did some, let me turn the, get the light over here so you can see it. Down here, so I've got the grounding, which goes to a grounding stake outside. Negative bus right there. Positive right there. And this thing comes with some really fancy, I don't see, you can see the red one down there, but see those terminal covers for the inverter nice 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 this thing doesn't make a sound the two go power I'm done dealing with go power this <laughs> uh, the inverter worked but the control panel beeped every five minutes it's terrible 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 and this one doesn't make a sound this thing has not made a sound and this of course is the place where I sleep at night and uh, can't be making sound. Now let's get to the good stuff. This is, you know, I wanted an inverter slash charger unit, and I'm gonna sit down here while we talk about this. So what I came up with is this IOTA power supply right here. I made a little cradle for it. And what you gotta do to make this thing work good with lithium is you gotta buy their proprietary lithium battery charge controller right here and it plugs in with, right here with a little phone jack type thing into here and it becomes the brains of this power supply which is a 15 amp 24 volt power supply now here's the real cool part aside from being portable and I can use this on my main house system if I need to is that I've got it wired in to charge the batteries and got the kilowatt meter plugged in which is on my solar circuit so this thing right here isn't using utility grid power it's using <laughs> solar battery from the main system right now 0.7 watts so it's not using anything I can turn it off right here with a little switch that has worked out freaking great now the other really cool thing is is that when the Sun goes down 
See, right now my battery, I'm topped off. See, 28.63 volts. So this, this thing won't even turn on at all uh, during the sunlight hours, the charging days, and it's all topped up. This thing will just sit idle. Now, it automatically senses when the voltage is low and fires up power to recharge the batteries in here and or run this all night. And I've got this thing on, as you can see, non-eco mode 69. I got this thing on full tilt. Just leave it on. Let it go. Keep it nice and cold in here. But uh, what's really cool is that uh, it works in conjunction with the EP Ever solar charger that's inside here already. Uh, this is the main charging right here. And when this is doing its job, this isn't on which is excellent. So they're not fighting each other to keep the batteries topped off. So in essence, what I'm doing here is to keep those Battleborn batteries topped off all the damn time, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Just working great. This thing, much lighter weight too, overall. You know, with those lithium uh, Battleborns in there. But this thing has, has been running, as soon as I got the damn inverter, and got it all hooked up and I was happy and I blessed it and commissioned it and blah 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 uh, it's been on ever since and it has not made a damn sound this thing's a beast, this inverter's a beast the inverter is a beast, Samlex pure sine wave and this little contraption down here is you know, it's kind of cool because it's kind of portable well it is portable and you can move it around and it's safer and just sit right, right there no problemos all right, there you have it. I thought you guys might like this update. And of course, this one has a thousand watts and PV attached to it for charging. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the update, and we'll see you next time.